City. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Fidelis, for those that don't know me, and um, my lovely wife here, Agnes. Um, yep. um, good morning, City Hill. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all safe at home. We really miss you, and we hope to see you soon. Yes, we hope to see you. Um, I've got a quick word for us today, right? And um, this way just came through my mind when I was going through um, working here at home and all that. Um, the way it was um, powerless. And then when I went through and I looked at this way and I said, what really, what is God trying to say here? And when I looked at the way it says powerless is um, to lack uh, strength, to lack ability and not to have any authority over anything. And it quickly clicked in my mind, like with um, this lockdown, uh, with the coronavirus, we very, very much powerless. We don't have much to do. And um, not only us, when you look at it, even in the news, CNN, your Trump, your Donald Trump, the governors in the US, um, when they were asked by journalists, when, uh, when are we gonna open businesses? When are we gonna open schools? Um, they didn't have answers for, for, for them. And at that moment, it dawned to me, these guys, they're powerless. <laughs> they've got no power at all. They've got no authority. And um, it quickly came through to my mind, Isaiah, Isaiah 40, uh, when we're just reading it with the wife going through, whereby um, the prophet speaks about, about all these rulers, all these uh, guys who, who got authority over us, who believe they've got power over us, that in actual fact, they are... The powerless, um, the one and only um, ruler in this world is our God, is our Lord Jesus Christ, and that clicked to say we give them power. These guys once in a while, and we think they've got power over us, but really they are powerless. Um, I also thought of a time when I hurt myself in Jan when I taken leave. Uh, I broke my ankle. And that moment, I felt very, very powerless and useless, actually. Uh, I didn't have any ability to drive, go to work, take the kids to school. Um, I couldn't do anything. And um, I remember my wife kept on <laughs> telling me a lot of things. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, um, so at that time, um, he really felt like he had lost his power. You know, man, they like being in control and know powerful and all that so during that time he kept on nagging complaining saying how his plants had fallen out of place and and he couldn't do anything about it but I kept on encouraging him uh, to relax and I kept on telling him that um, he needed to rest that was his perfect time for, for him to rest and gather his strength and gather his power um, back so after some time, he ended up um, resting and, and he managed to heal and regather his, his strength and regroup and um, make other plans about what he was going to do after he had um, healed. So with that uh, comes um, the word, like we said, we've been going through Isaiah 40. Um, on Isaiah 40 verse 29 where it says God gives power to the weak and to those who have no might he increases strength yeah. so at this time um, during this uh, coronavirus we might feel like we've lost all the strength we've lost all the power we're feeling weary, we're feeling tired we're feeling demotivated, out of control this is just a word to remind us that God is the one who's got all the power and he will give us all the strength and he's going to renew our strength so that when it comes a time that this um coronavirus is is, is, is finished when we go back to, to our businesses he would have renewed all our power all our strength all our mind so at this kind of time i feel we should rest in god knowing that he's the one with all the power he's got all the authority um, and is going to renew our power and strength and renew our relationships, our businesses, and um, we'll take it from there. Okay. 
All right, um, we'll just have to pray um, and hope that God um, be with us and look over us in this time, this terrible time. Uh, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the day. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Um, this morning, Lord, we pray for friends, relatives, everywhere where they are, Lord, mighty God, in this world. We pray that let your hand be upon them, Father, heal them. Uh, protect them, guide them, Father, and remind them, Father God, and remind us, Father, the most important thing, that you are the almighty God who is powerful, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, and we praise you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.